how do media people who want to cover this event contact you? How, how do they get um, accreditation? So when you go on the channel, channel what or a crowd of sport, or you go to the channel what is Facebook page, channel what is speak at festival Facebook or um, Instagram, uh, there's a, a bio link that you click. You click the link and it takes you to the process of the registration. So you register and then you take application. If you have a challenge for that, we have a booth inside the Cristambul Castle or the former seat of government, uh, you can go there and, um, and and get accreditation. I think over the years, people have consistently complained about why mm -hmm. like they start, uh, why are we now trying to monitor or so asking people to, to kind of uh, get accreditation before they come and all of that. But you know, if you ask Alan, say, the cost involved alone mm -hmm. in putting this part of production together is not easy. If you have to go by the cost, and even the child level on accreditation and things like that, it, 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 it doesn't cover anything. I mean, I've been having a, uh, a background conversation with some of the producers, and we were telling them about the frustration that we go through, but then you ask, why do you guys still persist to, to do something? The fact that we're going through a challenge does not necessarily mean, for example, that we should fold our arms and, 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 and go to bed over something that we feel that it contributes to the artistic landscape of the country itself and the sub region you know so the the, the accreditation also helps us be able to one monitor those who are there for example if if you come into the festival and uh, you report that your camera has been done has, has been stolen or damaged or anything by somebody else and then unless they go on social media and you say oh, okay i was like okay blah 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 happened but once you have accreditation it also helps us to be able to know the number of photographing that it, it helps in our statistical but uh, base, we want to know how many people are, mm -hmm. are taking part in that. So, um, so when you go there, I mean, people should not complain because look, it like I was telling, it costs a lot. I mean, the the, the government pays a lot for in an artist to do a half mural. Is is not easy. We are not going to say, for example, that I'm going to say, for example, that uh, because it started with people coming and using their Facebook. Because in any case, we have not stopped people from using their phones to to to. To shoot, but if you have if you need cameras for commercial reasons, obviously it's just fair to contribute something to to follow. What's the point if you're going to all these global festivals that are brought to crowd and it's all dollar? Sometimes that creates the dollars. But when it gets to our own, um, people complain, and, and that's, that's the nature of the world. You have to live by that. But we want to just thank everybody who consistently continue to support us over the years and um, we are never perfect we continue to work we continue to listen to feedback maybe there will be a time we'll get to a stage where somebody will, a, an organization will come and say you know what mm -hmm. i'm going to take off accreditation your bill is sorted so you guys can just focus on the work so, we, yeah. we, we're hoping for for that day because uh we need to support this particular festival it's it's the biggest thing we've seen in our part of the world so we need to support with all that we have. Annie Osabute is production team member of Charlie Waters Street Art Festival.